All right, so we're out here. You can see the site they just did the kind of masquerading on it. They're working on utilities at the moment, but uh, so everything out here is I don't know, it's probably plus or minus six inches or so, I would imagine. But I haven't been out here, like I said, in quite a while. But so I've got the got my setup here, just sitting on grade, well, sitting on dirt. But what we're gonna do is I got screen recording here, so they'll pop up next to it. Um, so what I'm gonna do is do surface stakeout. They're calling it on here. They call it height stakeout. But I was from I was in point stakeout from when we checked into our control point. Um, so to get out of that, we just go back. And we're just gonna go height stakeout, and it's already on my selected surface. So you can see down here now. I've got my actual elevation matches up with our elevation up here in the corner. This is my design elevation, and then it says I got to fill a 77. Down here, I didn't point to this earlier, but that's my pole height. It's important. It's easy to adjust and change there, but it's my pole height. Um, and then this is my offset, horizontal, or excuse me, vertical offset. So I think there's a building going down here somewhere, but you know, let's just say I need it to be minus a foot. So now it's going to show up there. You can see now I'm only two tenths difference. I'm not, this is where the turning on the tilt can come in really handy because now I can move all over, but I'm still going to get my, you know, 22, 2400. Um, that was me. I was moving the pole just to show that that's going to say I just picked it up there, but, um, that's where tilt can come in really handy. I utilize it a lot. Like I've got bipod legs on this at the moment. Um, but if I was out here checking grades, I'm probably going to turn pull tilt on and drop the legs. And I've got my point on there still. I'd probably over in my topo shoe and then I'd run out right here. Some feature that they, uh, is handy. I, it's a little, I don't know, clunky is not the right word, but it just looks a little goofy, but I think they'll, like they always do, they get the features in there, then they refine them over time with updates and stuff. Um, but you can see you can get the big cut fill box. I'd like to see a, a vertical offset note down at the bottom. Maybe you don't necessarily need to change it, but just notating what your vertical offset set at. It's easy enough to click back here and look, but it'd just be kind of nice to have that information in there or have this split screen with this where I still have my you know, maybe the top half is still my map and the bottom half becomes my cut fill. But it is kind of nice. I mean, that number down there in the corner to me is not hard to see. As I'm walking around, I can see that pretty easily out of the corner of my eye. But if you did want a bigger cut fill or you want to utilize this, you know, you want to come up because we've got another receiver that could pretty easily be utilized on a machine if you wanted to go into a cut, you know, some kind of just indicate simple application. But yeah, that's a... Uh, that's taken out of surface and then if you want to uh, excuse me if you want to switch back to anything else it's pretty simple we'll do some videos online stake out like i said they're over here working i'm not going to get in their way uh, they got a bunch of trucks and stuff running in and out so i'm going to stay out of their way but i'll do some get some more information on uh, line stake out it's it's pretty dang easy um but primarily screens you're living in there's a lot of other stuff in here that will get gone through in a lot of videos, but you can you can swipe through these or you can click down here at the bottom. Really easy interface to run, um, but yeah, so that's taken out of surface. And then if you want to go back to shooting points, go back. Uh, we have a lot of options down in here. If you're trying to, we can create a tin surface. We can, you know, if you're doing a as build or you can tie off and do resections and polylines and different things and then this in here we can you know if we want to shoot in a control point or like auto points you know if you're doing a auto topo or whatever um, corner point you can shoot multiple points so um yeah like i said we're just scratching the surface on all this stuff try not to put too much information in each one of these videos but make it where um, you guys can see this stuff and see the the capabilities and the functionality of it and you know i'm learning along with you i've been using this stuff for a while now but every time i use it i tend to 
figure out something new that I didn't know before. So that's a good thing. So that's what I want people to do. I want people to get curious and see what else is out there and uh, see if it makes sense for them and ask questions. So yeah, look for more videos to come on this stuff. And like I said, if you guys got something that you know, you're know you interested in seeing, please let me know. I, I get a lot of messages. I really do. And I appreciate them. But uh, also this is a this unfortunately isn't my day job i'd love to do more of this but i gotta do the stuff that pays the bills and uh i'll do as much of this stuff as i can appreciate you guys watching and uh yeah let me know if i can help with anything have a good one